Rain in the forecast, rain is what we have, but the players will have to deal with it here at the San Siro. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It's Inter, and they face Lecce. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And this is how it looks for Inter. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Edin Dzeko starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And the match is underway. Dumfries Lukaku Dzeko and a fine stop Can someone get on the end of this? Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Lukaku, the body in the way. Well, you know, wherever he's gone in his long career, Edin Dzeko has always been a prolific goal scorer, Stuart. What do you expect to see from him today? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Dzeko. It's with Chalhanolu. It's there for him. Well, leaning back a bit, couldn't keep the shot down. Alexi Blatt. And the emphasis is on creativity. But they took care of the situation defensively. Good technique displayed. 
squanders the chance for 1-0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. Brozovic. Now, who can he play it to? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Not what he was intending, bad pass. Dzeko. What can they do from here? And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Gozens. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And a chance for him on the flank. Opportunity! Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Alexi Blatt. Moving it forward. a shame that he couldn't find the target from there well that's how to put in a clean tackle Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Alexi Blatt. Breaking at pace. A real opening now. Oh, just narrowly off target. Well, they broke with such pace and intent. Fantastic move. Just couldn't quite cap it off. Trefeza. Romelu Lukaku now. The running room in the wide position. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And there's the delivery. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Colombo. Strong but fair tackle. And foul it is then. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Barella. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. And I think we've got to conclude. It's been a difficult outing, this one, Stuart, for Romelu Lukaku. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. And so the battle commences. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. 
And a textbook interception. Chalanolu. Plenty of support here. Alexi Blatt. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. He's in here. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Oh, what an opportunity. Well, that must score. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Barella. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And Lukaku is through. A goal! He's dispatched it. Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And Lukaku does the rest. And hits through the back of the ball with such power. It's a great finish. <laughs> Underway once again with Inter in front. Brozovic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And he's broken free. Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong, trying to pass it into the corner, opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Brozovic. Martinez. And a very good challenge. Barella. Chances on. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. An interceptor there. Brozovic. Now with Lukaku. Now just the tackle that was needed. Can they hit on the break? Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. And they're making a change. It is a decent looking attack here. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Let's see about the delivery. Superb block. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. This could be the equaliser. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Martinez. And he's made headway. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. And a throw for Inter. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. It's 
Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Terrific block. Under pressure here. Crossing opportunity. And that pass could be troublesome. Surely! Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Di Francesco. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. And fails to keep himself onside, unfortunately. D'Ambrosio. Lukaku. Oh, he's through here. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So 2-0 now. Five minutes left. Federico Di Francesco. Mickey Carian. Lukaku. Flag raised for offside. Samuel Umtiti. Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes. And you never know in this game. They might yet be able to level it. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Alessandro Bastoni. It's with Robin Gosens. Chalanolu. De Frey. So the final whistle has sounded and a boost for the Nerazzurri. Three points for Inter. Your verdict? Yes, Derek. There wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Romano Lukaku does know how to take a game by the scruff of the neck. What would be your verdict on his performance? Well, of course, his finishing could have been better today, but he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself. I thought he was outstanding. He's dead!